Today is February the 29th, and we're in Louisville, Kentucky at the Heli Expo. And I'm speaking with Irene Macris, who is Vice President Marketing for Pratt & Whitney Canada. Thank you very much for sitting down to talk with me. Thank you for sitting down with myself. And uh, what I would like, let, let's start, maybe you can give us a brief summary of how you, this is a new position, um, congratulations. Can you give us a little bit of an introduction about your, your background? Sure. So uh, it's been about 15 years I've uh, been with uh, Pratt & Whitney Canada, started off in uh, different areas of uh, procurement, operations, logistics, spent some time in the service centre, and uh, most recently have been in supply chain, leading the supply chain organisation for the last eight years. And uh, the last six months I've been uh, in marketing and um, leading the helicopter market, which is a very exciting market for myself, so thank you. Okay. Looking forward, in terms of turboshaft market that you focused on. Can you give our viewers a sense of what we could be expecting from Pratt & Whitney Canada? Absolutely. Um, I mean, we've, we've, we've done a lot in the past uh, to maintain our leadership position in the turboshaft market and uh, we're going to continue to drive in that same direction. So what to expect from uh, Pratt & Whitney is going to be that we're going to continue to focus on innovation. Innovation and technology has brought us to where we are today. And we're going to continue to focus as we move forward and get through these challenging times and, uh, and be ready for, uh, for the uh, growth when it starts to come back. Um, so we are a leader and um, we're going to continue to uh, look at uh, different uh, technologies and innovation, which I can talk to you a little bit about uh, today. And um, we have a great presence, a uh, large presence, both on the uh, uh, customer front and on the uh, support network that Tim uh, will speak to you a little bit later about too. And um, we're looking uh, right now to uh, continue to grow it, whether it's from a new engine perspective, from uh, control systems, or from uh, supports and services. So uh, before I, I get right to it, uh, currently we have about uh, 15,000 engines that we've produced uh, on the turboshaft uh, market and 8,000 are still flying out there, accumulating 55 million hours of flight uh, time, which is pretty impressive. And uh, you know that's not all because we also come from a uh, uh, 655 million hours of experience with the 85,000 engines that we've already produced globally as Pratt & Whitney Canada. So we've got a wealth of knowledge and I think it speaks to the uh, reliability and to the loyalty that we have earned from our customers uh, up to now. So this hasn't come uh, without anything, and I talked about technology and R&D, but uh, no matter what, through tough times, good times, bad times, we've taken the time to invest in R&D. It's our core belief, and just over the last 25 years, we've been able to certify 100 engines, which is, I think, an industry benchmark. Uh, and uh, just on turbo shaft alone, we certified uh, uh, five, uh, three, three engines in the last year, the PW210S, the 210E, and the C67E. So again, very, um, I would say, impressive uh, track record. Um, and we're not going to let go of that. We're already uh, speaking to customers, working with our customers to understand uh, what they need from us, what they're looking at in terms of technology and helicopters of the future, so that we can get ready today for what's to come. So um, we are working on several aspects and uh, first first off we're looking at our current engine models and the evolu and, ev uh, and evolving our existing product line to the next step. So you know everyone is a little bit challenged uh, these days uh, uh, in this industry anyway and some are ready for clean sheet designs but from what we see from our OEMs not too many are ready for the investment required for a clean sheet design. So yet they're looking for a, a little bit of an edge uh, on the market. So we are looking at just a, you know taking the technologies that we've already introduced into our engines and making sure that we read them across and bring the next generation of our engines, our current engines to the next level. We're looking at new materials. Um, we're looking at uh, improved aerodynamics of the uh, compressor and the turbines, which is key. Um, and uh, even just uh, from a FADIC perspective, we're looking at new um, uh, innovative modes of operation. Um, so such an example of the APU, APU mode on the C67E and in our uh, PW210A. So first thing first, shorter term, to also respond to what the customers are telling us. We're looking at our current product lines, 
How do we take them to the next level? How do we give our customers that cutting edge, the leading edge that they're asking for and minimizing the cost to them and to all of us? So that's more shorter term. Going forward, I would say in the four to five year range, um, we're continuing to build on our PT6 and our engine legacy of 655 million hours of experience. And we're looking at the next generation of PT6, which is a clean sheet design <coughs> to power 1,500 shaft horsepower to the 2,000 shaft horsepower. So this is um, a very large uh, power range, and uh, we're also looking, it could be a common core concept, uh, which is going to allow us to have savings right from the uh, onset and make sure that we're reducing the operating cost for the customers uh, by doing that. And at the same time, if we do have a common core, the growth capability is, is much simpler um, and we can respond to customer requirements uh, much faster. And we know what it's all about. When there is an application that's coming out, you need to have an engine that's ready. And I think if we do go with a common core concept on our next generation of PT6, it will very well position us for uh, the future and uh, future applications. Um, so we're going to continue to uh, look at uh, the PT6, and then, uh, of course, uh, it's not all. Um, in parallel, we do have a dedicated uh, innovation team that is segregated from the rest of our uh, teams and is really looking to create viable, uh, disruptive um, solutions for the uh, industry. So this is, uh, this is, this is really uh, about positioning us uniquely for the next generation of engines and the next generation of uh, helicopters that are out there. And uh, it's not, uh, it's not a, on paper, it's not a, uh, a uh, theory. We have real parts, real modules, testing right now, and we're getting great results. So we're, the future is very, very promising uh, for Pratt & Whitney Canada and for all its customers in the industry. Um, so we're already talking with our customers and, and showing them the possibilities that they don't know exist today so that as they look forward to their next platforms, they're already keeping this in mind and trying to see how to incorporate in the next generation of helicopters. So we're doing a lot on the, uh, on the, uh, on the technology and innovation side, and, uh, and we're also going to continue to leverage our uh, FADEX. We have 15 years experience with FADEC technology, um, so it's full authority digital uh, electronic uh, control. And um, we have 15 years, uh, 15 different models in the last 10 years that we've introduced with uh, FADEC technology. And uh, going forward, this is going to be on all our platforms and all our engines, and uh, we're going to continue to uh, to uh, invest in this and uh, make sure that we continue to simplify operations, uh, reduce, continue to reduce uh, pilot workload, and uh, of course, uh, increase our craft availability, which is key. So um, we have some uh, engines already out there, our C67E on the uh, H175 and the Airbus H175, um, which has the first uh, PT6. It's our first PT6 with the engine uh, with, uh, it's our first PT6 engine with a dual uh, um, channel FADEC. And uh, it has proven and has allowed us to improve our fuel burn and uh, engine handling while reducing uh, pilot workload. And already in the uh, certification uh, pre-testing, pre-certification testing, we did uh, exceed two records of, uh, uh, of uh, time to climb. So it has proven to, get, to have great results and the feedback that we have from our customer base on the C67E and the H175 is, uh, is a great result so far. Um, so on the C67C engine, which powers our uh, AW139, um, we are still uh, getting a very, very good results from our customers. We're getting accolades from our customers. They're very pleased with the performance of the uh, engine. Um, and again, the PT6C67C does have best-in-class power uh, reserve and outstanding power-to-weight ratios with no limitations in a wide range of conditions, including a hot and high. So exceptional performance on that engine also. And it continues with our 210, which is our latest uh, turboshaft engine that we've introduced and went into service in 2014 with Sikorsky and 2015 with uh, Augusta, and uh, again, uh, the 210 is, uh, is, uh, is getting uh, great results, and it's a benchmark uh, for us in the uh, twin engine helicopters. So designed with the operator in mind, and uh, again, brings uh, unparalleled fuel burn um, and uh, power-to-weight ratio in our operating economics. So 
um, we, we continue and uh, I think we've got uh, great strategies uh, for ourselves uh, going forward and innovation is key. Uh, no matter what, uh, we, we believe that uh, you know, we continue to invest and uh, make sure that we're ready for uh, what's coming up. But uh, real projects going on right now. Thank you very much. You're welcome.